Hi everyone, it's Christine here. So I'm just going to do this quick little video on just basic um, signature sewing. And, um, and I'll just practice on this um, so it's really simple. Um, I'm just going to show you a few that I've done and what I have used. Um, so this junk journal, I used like a metallic. Um, it's not like... It's not elastic, it's just like a thread. Um, and I made it so that the tie was on the inside of the signature. And, um, and that was using, so the signatures vary between um, probably 10 and 20 pages. So, um, it just depends on how many pages as to what kind of thread you want to use and what best suits the journal that you're making. This one here, I use dental floss. So I've used that as well. That's really, really strong and that's easy and um, it sews in really well and it um, keeps the journal together really well. So that's that one. And then I've used this like twine gardening thread. Um, this can be um, hit and miss with the thickness of it. Um, I've just done a journal recently and because it was quite a thick journal, it was really hard to get this actually through. But it looks fabulous when you can get it through. And it's just a matter of persist, persisting with um, getting the needle and the thread through the, the small hole. So again, um, I just love the look. The rustic look is gorgeous. So, um, and you need a fairly good um, needle head to be able to get the thread through. So just remember... Um, a big needle head is, is worth it. So that's actually a good embroidery needle that I use. So that shows you just a, a few. Um, and all these journals are showing you the three holes, three hole um, sewing um, signature. So I'll just show you those. You can also, before I do that, um, Use embroidery thread. Um, there's other twine that's a little bit thinner. See how quite that's quite thin. There's um, tying up or kitchen twine as well. There's also, I actually got this thread um, or twine from the hardware store. So that's a nice calico kind of color. Um, and that's quite strong as well. You can also use crochet thread as well. Um, if you use normal cotton, you can use the thicker one because I know that there's different grades of cotton that you can um, get. Um, if, you use, if you've only got the thin one at home, I would use probably three strands of that thin cotton um, to make it quite strong in the journal. So let's go ahead and just show you. So I'm just going to use one, one page. Um, so let's just imagine this is um, the inside of a signature that you've got 10 pages of. And you just want to, you're just a beginner and you're wanting to know like how do I sew it in I would if you're just starting I would just do two holes so about um, an inch in from either end um, let me just show you and again if you can eyeball an inch in then just do that um, some people prefer to rule it out and dot it um, I tend to eyeball um, these days but um, until you get your confidence, 
definitely just use a ruler, measure in one inch and mark that. So then you know, put a pencil dot there, measure in one inch on this end. Just put a pencil dot there. And then at least that is the start. And then you just need something. Um, I've got this poker. I don't even remember where I got it from. Um, you just need, you can even use your needle because that gets quite thick there. So let's just use a needle for this exercise um, and just take it all the way through. So then you've got a fairly big hole. Or if you've got a puncher, again, just punch it through. So just remember to, um, if you've got 10, um, 10 pages, then it's good to stack them together and hold them together with paper clips around the spine. So for example, with this one, I would have done this because it just holds all the papers together like that. And then two down here on the bottom. And you just need to make sure you get all your papers together like that before punching your holes. So that's a good example um, of what to do with gathering your papers together. Um, there are binding tools out, um, like they're like trenches, and you stick that in, and then there's like a bar that you put through the middle, and then you can punch your holes that way. But if you don't have one of those, this is just how I've always done it, and um, and it's worked for me. So just doing the two hole sewing of the signature um let me use make sure I use this black one um the amount of thread is a double with probably just the two holes i know it's um two and a half times a page when you do the three hole but we'll i'll show you that in a minute So it's just a matter of threading up your needle. Like that. Got one thread that's behind. Okay. You just play around with the thread and get that sorted out. Now the other decision you need to make when you go to sew is do you want the bow on the outside or the bow on the inside? Um, let me just get another journal to show you the outside. I don't have any at hand at the moment to show you. So all these I've only done on the inside. Anyway, I'll show you in the example anyway. So if you want the bow on the outside, then you go from the outside into the centre of the signature because you want that thread on the outside like that and you go out that hole this is just for a really simple sewing in of a signature and 
this is with the bow on the outside. Actually, what I might do is tie that knot first. It can be a bit fiddly. And then you can do the bow. Now, I had a lady um, that re made a comment on one of my postings in a Facebook group. And um, so this is what this video is about. This is just for Linda um, so that she can get a bit more confidence in um, sewing in signatures. So, and especially when you make this type of single signature junk journal, um, this is great. It can get quite complicated when you go to a hard cover and you have multiple signatures in it but just to start off this is great this is the great idea so that's that little bow now if you want the bow on the inside then you just make sure that let me just undo that oh that's not going to undo now so let me just fold this over as no i'll get a whole new piece of paper that's what i'll do So we'll fold this in half. And again, I'll just put, I'll just eyeball this this time, the holes. So I want to get about an inch in and an inch in. So that's with a, a bow on the outside. And I'm now going to show you how to do the bow on the inside. Let's put that there. Can you see that in the camera? Yep. All right. So, so I've just eyeballed those two. holes and just get some thread so this is the other twining that I got from the hard st hardware store I need to just get the pin on that one So if you want the um, bow on the inside, then you go from the inside to the out. So from the inside of the signature, outside, then back up through to the inside. And then you just tie it off. What am I doing here? Okay, down a bit. I'm trying to center that. So just tie that off. I keep one finger in there. Okay and then do a bow and you don't always have to have a bow you can keep these lengths um, you can have a bow like that or you can um, just chop the ends off and um, put little punches of um, paper on the end so it's like a dangly Thing. Um, this is actually a paper, a book page button. You can even do that and turn it into a little dangly. And you can tie it off and just have that dangling like that. 
So there's lots of little ideas. You can cut out little hearts and stick them together with the string in between. So there's lots of little things that um, you can do to um, make these really pretty inside the middle signature, the middle page. So that's what we've got so far. So we've got out and we've got the center. The outside bow, the center bow. So just remember when you want an outside bow, you start your pin going through the page with the cotton on the outside, go into the center of the signature to the top hole and then through to the out side again and then do your bow and then this is just the opposite of that so the inside bow is you start on the inside of the signature middle page you go out to the outside then back to the inside on the top hole then you do it up as a as a bow and the same happens when you do the three hole And it's the same way. If you want the bow on the outside, you start on the outside. It all depends on where you want that little string. So you keep the little string is where you're going to end up with your bow or your tie. So again, you can use a ruler and you can go in an inch on either end and then one in the middle. Or you can just eyeball it. So I tend to eyeball it. One in the middle. One inch from the top and one inch from the top oh from the bottom sorry okay so what I might do might use this dark thread again well it's quite variegated actually so but it's good it shows you um, the color of the page so this style you sort of need like two and a half times the page size. And again, we're going to get the pin. Let's see if I can get the thread through first. This is why a very um, large needle head is good to get the thread through okay so we got that through so with the th three you start in the middle and you pull it through so you got that thread then you can go either top or bottom, but you go into the bottom hole or the top hole. And just pull that. And then you go straight up to the other hole that you haven't put it in. Top or bottom, whatever way you decided to start. Then you come back into the middle on the outside and push through. And when you come through, just be careful you don't go through the other thread because then you can't really tighten it. And because we want a knot, you come either side. So you have one length on this side and the other one on this side. And then you tie in the middle. Okay, and that gives you that look. Hopefully you can see that, which is what I've got on this this one and this one. It's the outside and this bronze colour. That's the three-hole sewing signature. And, um, and that's with the knot or bow on the inside of the signature and then you just cut that down and then you either tie a bow or you just again you can just um, glue danglies onto that and it'll look pretty 
in your signature. So hopefully you can see that. So let me get another piece of paper. I'll just move these out the way now. So that's the two hole. And that's the two hole. And that's the three hole. I can see that the black and then the grayish color there. So that's the three hole. Now I'll do another three hole, but I'll do it so that the bow or tie is on the outside of the signature. So it's gonna be on the outside like this. So again, you either find the center with a ruler and you poke a hole or you eyeball it. And then one inch from the bottom, one inch from the top, and I'm just eyeballing it. Now, because I want the bow on the outside, I'm going to lead through the middle hole from the outside. Just exactly the same as these two hole ones. So let's get another lot of string. I'm gonna use this black one because it seems to stand out better. Just get it through the head. Now, so because you want this tail on the outside to be the tie for the bow or the closing of the signature, take it into the center and you pull it through. Let me just pull that up like that. So you can see there. Right. You can just put your thumb under there. So then you go to the top hole and pull that through. So that's on the inside now. See that string goes up there. Then go straight down. the bottom hole so there you see that is one continuous thread right down now you're going to come from the inside of the signature up there and you're going to have a string either side of that long thread in the center there all right now I'm just going to Actually, I'll just pull that out. Won't cut it yet. So then you tie it off. And then you, you can do a bow. Or if you've got other things like little um, jewellery beads, you can thread, thread the beads onto those and then tie it off. For this example, we'll just do a bow. Oops. Okay, so that's the three hole with the bow on the outside. This is the three hole with the bow on the inside. Let me just do that little bow. Probably cut the thread a bit too small. Oops. There. So this is the three hole sewing. One with the bow on the outside and the other with the bow on the inside. Very simple, very easy and you don't need to rush. Just get your confidence up. Um, if you really don't have a lot of confidence, I would just suggest to go with the two hole and that's your outside bow and then 
your inside bow. And if you feel unsure that this is not strong enough to hold your signature get together, you can always put a beautiful piece of paper or material to cover the spine. And then that'll hold it all together. But it is surprising how strong, strong they are. So I'm going to leave that at that. That's pure basic um, signature sewing. So um, hopefully for those ladies that um, are feeling a bit nervous about it or don't feel confident, hopefully that can help um, and get you started. And it really is just practice. Um, and, you know, even just practice on some book pages first before you... Um, go into a you know a big junk journal so um, and then there's other ways um, I'll do another video or um, I might even link some videos in the description box of this video of what other ladies have done when they do multiple signatures in a hardcover so again it's just a matter of practice and um, and there's no rush in doing it. So just practice, practice. And you'll get your confidence up and you'll enjoy making them. So I hope that helps. Um, if you've got any questions, then please put them in comments. And, um, and I'll try and answer your questions when they um, are there. So... Um, but yeah, definitely start off with the two hole if you're just a beginner. Thank you so much. Hope this helps. Take care. Bye.